TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here at this 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update on what are we this is the Thursday the 17th of March the Dow earlier on was down a little bit and normally what we would see after a massive move in the last hour as we saw yesterday about a 20 percent give back of some of the last hour acceleration we've we had a maybe a little more than that and now we're at the point where the Dow is actually up four points at 34,064. It is testing this inside track repellent zone right here at 34,068. Uh, if it's able to get to the 34,150 area and hold that's going to be not only very impressive but what you've done is Given the chance for this pink nine period moving average to cross positive and go green, and that would be a very important moment. Uh, we're looking at the S&P. Right now, the S&P has turned around. It's also up. It's up six at 43.63, up above yesterday's high, which is a spectacular day. We don't have to go through that again. That was really a big move. But the 43.86 200 period exponential moving average area is going to be resistance and that also takes you into the Chapman wave inside track repellent zone so how it handles after 1 32 o'clock this afternoon is going to be important we'll talk about that in a moment but we'll look, first look at the queues up 39 cents at 340.67 need to get to the 344 346 area preferably by tomorrow <clears throat> that'll be important looking at the IWM the Russell 2000 that is a nice move. Up uh, 97 cents to 2.87. This one's starting to improve a lot. It's got the lowercase h, goes to a lowercase m. We'll see if it's able to get to the 206s by Friday. We're looking at gold. Gold overnight had a really strong move. It's held that. It's up 34 at 1943. So that makes the whole area of 1980, uh, 1980 very good support. And we're getting close to the resistance area at about 1952. We're looking at um, the dollar. Let's quickly look at the dollar. Dollar's pulling back just a little bit, but crude oil is holding extremely well. It's up today, up six dollars at 101. And we've got the TLT. Ay, yeah, yeah, that poor old TLT. Down again, yields will continue to move higher. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Don't forget to check out my opening call, Daily Newsday. 